Saurashtra which is very vulnerable to drought and also has uh, rainfall fluctuations. We were trying to uh, understand the whole of Saurashtra and its data bases in Putani. So we started collecting data for our own journey. Uh, as Dinesh was mentioning earlier at one slide which was presented by Shrek in the previous presentation about change and mountain chains uh, for the uh, Richard movement happening in Saurashtra. So, uh, taking that in view that there are change and mountain chains and there are economic studies which only look at impact at a shorter duration and the studies like labor labor basin which looks at one basin whereas Saurashtra has 71 labor basins like that. So one basin would have some impact on the other one. So the goal of Saurashtra to be very strong in this. Now uh, the same problem whenever we start any study uh, we have the data problem. Whereas we wanted to do this study at the Tanka level, understand each of the Tanka. So there are some 76 Tanka in seven, uh, seven districts of Saurashtra and a time series data uh, we had thought of collecting for 20 years from 1990 to 2010 at the Tanka level. Now the same problem that no other place, no centralized place is there where this data is available. And uh, we get the time series data on the water harvesting structure, their capacities and numbers. We have to go to various departments. Various departments within that are the different sections. Uh, although agriculture data was available at one place, uh, these uh, soil and uh, crop reports, season and crop reports are available with the state government, which is a tanka wise data compilation for the cropping pattern. So 60% is 
but there is a indication factor somewhere in there, right? Uh, so I will just present some more work in progress. Uh, one of the things that I have to talk about for this check is that they have had a negative impact on the flows to the bigger dams, right? Uh, if, you, if you recall the map in Bacon, there is actually no trend. There are as many small check dams upstream of big dams than there are downstream. Uh, but still, we, we wanted to see what is happening to the peak storage. And here we have combined the peak storage of all the dams in Saurashtra over the years. Um, these, are, these are also the years which have had good rainfall. But I don't know what to make of this. Uh, then we took specific examples of big dams in Saurashtra, the Harder Dam. This level 4500 cubic, uh, this is MCFK, I think, is roughly the, no, this is area indicated, sorry. 4500 hectares is the submergence of Harder Dam. 4500 hectare area. And this has been the area it has indicated. This is gross area, not net area. So roughly it has indicated even in the best year, only five times the area is submerged. And on, on an average it's about 2 to 2.5. So for the for the irrigating every 2.5 hectare, it has to submerge one hectare. Uh, and in random over time, there is a slight increase. Shetunji Dam, there is a slight increase over time. Uh, but here the submergence is even higher and here on an average across this year we found that it will negate only 1.5 hectares for every hectare that is submerged. So I am not sure how big a loss it is if the impact or the positive impact of check dams is significant then I don't think this is a big loss. Then we try to see what is happening over the seasons. Um, if you, if you look at, if you average the years before 2000 to 2001, this was a drought year, big drought year. Uh, and the ones after that, which also include better rainfall, we see actually that the area indicated by the dams in the Khalif season has reduced. But the area indicated by the dams in the summer season has increased significantly. So this is the summer season area indicated, this is the Ravi season, uh, the winter, and this is the monsoon season area. <laughs> Which means that they do have storage to provide irrigation in the summer. But possibly because of better rainfall in these years, uh, the demand for current irrigation itself is lower. Therefore, they are not irrigating uh, more, uh, more area. Also, there was a study by a student, uh, an NMSC student, Satish Kambod, who did a uh, rainfall runoff model using HPV light software where uh, I am just listing some of his conclusions. He concluded from this model of other vision that in extremely high and extremely low rainfall years, there was no significant change in, in the runoff or the flow to the dam. So in extremely high years, all the check dams filled up as well as other filled up. So there was no, no problem at all. In extremely low rainfall years, even before the check dam, these dams were not filling up. So it didn't make any difference to that. Now in slightly dry and normal years, there was significant reduction in the flows of the dams. Which is the, which is the argument which has been made against these check dams. However, that was significantly dependent on the rainfall in the previous year. So there was a, uh, I don't know how to call it, history, a lag in the uh, and of course it depended on the rate for the gene because amount of rainfall itself doesn't tell you anything. Uh, but interestingly he said most of the flow reduction was in the initial two months after the rainy season. And after that subsequently this trend was reversed because of base flows. Uh, the August peak flows and September to October base flows increased. Which means that uh, because of the groundwater recharge caused by these check dams, there were greater day flows also coming or also benefiting these larger structures downstream. On the rate growth, again he said average cross crop area increased, uh, but the inter-area variation became much higher than it was before. 
So my initial idea was that we should check whether all these checkdowns have helped uh, Sarasta have a more balanced or uh, more stable agriculture. But these results seem to indicate otherwise. So when there is growth, there is very high growth. But in a year like this one, his model predicts that it will be it will go down significantly. And water productivity increased by 40% in all years except with very low, very, very low in four years. So uh, I can also show you some of these graphs in all of the different seasons. In high season we see that there is a decline trend in the area indicated by the lands and these blue bars are still the peak storage. Uh, in the rabi season there is the increase is not significant but in the summer season there is a significant increase. So what it could mean and I am not a hydrologist but it could mean that this peak uh, storage if it used to happen during the monsoon earlier now it is happening much later because of the reduced flows just after the monsoon and the base flows that are coming in from upstream areas. So what we now would like is is a time in the discussion. We want to already incorporate rainfall and we be gotten uh, as a variable in, in the in the calcus. Probably also if there are calcus which are benefiting from SSP, that should also be counted uh, in our analysis. But are there other parameters that we could look at? which could explain agriculture and we uh, make this point that it would be difficult to attribute when what we want to do is run a and see what is the coefficient of the density of tech gaps. It's not about that but it still shows something right. So that's